Okay. Yeah. I love this next one here. This fish in, in puddles, Yeah. fish in puddles. Yes. I mean, walk us through. I want to visualize this. Walk I will. Us through, Harry. Yeah. So I think we've, anyone who's been in outbound as long as I have, we've all made this mistake. So if you imagine your TAM or even ICP is the ocean, right? Yes. Um, in outbound, our biggest advantage, I think, is targeting and one-to-one -one targeting. Uh, Ryan Reiser talks about the list being your strategy, and this is that concept. Um, but for me, you don't really want to fish in the ocean. You, we leave that to marketing. Marketing can do that really well. They're great at it. In outbound, we want to think about very small puddles within that ocean, small patches of water. And we need to get very, very specific on who the person is, why them, and that bit actually becomes personalization, and when, when we're reaching out to them. And that is actually the hardest part. I, I, I built prospecting plays I thought were fantastic. They got loads of replies. We even had meetings. They're great. But timing was so badly off for this person that it never led to any anywhere, not even a qualified opportunity, let alone revenue. Um, and here's a good example. So if you sell sales tech to a mid-market, above-the-line VP of sales in the US, right? That could be your ocean. Now, the puddle might be you have shared investors. Sales leaders have six months into the role. They have a team size of at least eight. They use Salesforce. They're chorus ring orders in 90 days. And now I also believe that you should have multiple puddles running at the same time. And the puddle is the start of the play. The targeting is the start of the play. Um, and I'm usually very, very early at these companies. I'm usually the first SDR hire, to be honest. Um, so when starting a new play, I try to get as specific as possible as I can to find efficiency first, and then you can always expand the play once it's efficient. You can always sort of loosen it up and, and make the puddle a bit bigger. Okay, so that's a great, like a great segue into like, how do you do that? You mentioned like, you're one of the first sometimes at the organizations that you're working mm. with, you're their first SDR. How do you zoom in on a puddle? What are you looking for? Ooh, like, do you um, go through closed one business, existing clients? Where, what do you look at? I wish it was that, like, I wish I did wing loss analysis. It's, it's mostly gut feeling and speaking like to, yeah, yeah speaking to, <laughs> internal and external people about it and just okay. ideas like that that's honestly i think why i'm why i'm still chasing strangers for meetings after a decade because like that's the thing that gets my mind never stops with that sort of stuff it just comes to me because that's how i've kept myself entertained all these years um but then the other thing i may i may look at is it, it, g2 is just a great a great source of this because they tell you their current their context the before context so i think hey how can i reverse engineer that status quo and who else would that apply to and again the uh, we uh, we run a play called the radar where we literally ask our users is this your context and if you reply and tell us we'll give you an upgraded license or gift card or whatever but you can actually fish for this uh for this information very easily in the plg world you definitely can yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, that's really like, I think you mentioned conversations with the people. So you're like internal and external, you're looking for this and you're just data gathering. Yeah. And then you're, it's like, you're building a hypothesis almost. And you're that's saying, exactly what it is. I'm going to yeah. go test this. Yeah. And that, that is what outbound is. Yeah. If we break it down, that's what you're testing. You're testing your belief on who should be your next best customer or your future customer. That's it. That's it. And I think I just uh, everyone knows I love outbound, but it, I also believe it's the fastest way to get feedback on that hypothesis. I also believe it has the lowest barrier to entry. So all these people saying outbound's dead, they then go and spend nine months on a rebrand and all this stuff without any of that data. Uh, outbound should really be the tip of the the spear, in my view, to learn what works, what doesn't work, to inform the rest of it. But maybe I'm biased.